When the Acura Integra departed the US market in 2001, it was also the final model in the Acura lineup with a pronounceable name. 20 years later, the Integra is also the first model to bring it back. Replacing the ILX in the Acura lineup, the Integra is primed to cater to both nostalgia buffs and young enthusiasts alike. Like the first generation Integra from 1986, the prototype will take form of a left-back sedan, though clearly modernized with current Acura styling cues. That means LED headlamps with chicane-shaped signature lighting bookending an angular diamond pentagon grille up front. Sweeping taillights with a notched internal design appear on either side of an aggressive fastback rear hatch. A crisp line rises from the front wheel arch, cutting through the front door and giving the profile some aggression without ruining the Integra's clean design. The front and rear bumpers also get retro-inspired Integra logos embossed into the plastic. A longish front overhang, small dash to axle ratio, and arching roofline betray the Civic hatchback that likely hides behind those Acura spec design cues. However, Acura did a good job of dressing up the Integra with a clean front end thanks to its frameless grille and a hood that somewhat recalls the second generation Integra and how it integrates into the bumper and fenders. Even the ND yellow color is intended to recall the Integra Type R's Phoenix yellow. Still, those hoping for retro redux will be disappointed. The Integra prototype doesn't stray further from the Civic's general proportions. Since it's a design exercise, the Acura Integra prototype doesn't actually have an interior. We presume it will use the lovely Civic as a jumping off point, dressed up a bit with the TLX's wing-like contrast colored roller dash, as well as softer materials throughout the cabin. Acura's true touchpad interface might show up, or the Integra could make use of a reskinned version of the Honda Civic's intuitive infotainment, replete with a 9-inch touchscreen and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Though unconfirmed officially, the Integra prototype probably will ride on the Civic hatch's chassis, powered by a high-output turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder. That's the same phrase in Honda uses to describe the engine in the Civic SI sedan. But we hope Acura squeezes a bit more power relative to that car's 200 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. Even if not, if you want a Civic SI with the convenience of a liftback, the Integra is as close as you will get, and that will be reason enough for some to choose it. Unlike the manual-only SI, the 2023 Integra will offer both a 6-speed stick and a spec-unconfirmed automatic transmission, likely a continuously variable transmission. Front-wheel drive will be standard, and it doesn't appear that the Acura Integra prototype or its production intent successor will offer torque vectoring super handling all-wheel drive. The Integra should boast the same robust structure as the Civic hatchback yielding nimble handling and limited body roll, and we hope Acura will also offer a grippy summer tire option to give its compact sedan genuine moves on a winding road. The production version of the Integra prototype should arrive in dealers in mid-2022. Exact pricing is unknown, though Acura did say the production vehicle would start at around $30,000, stealing attention from the more expensive Mercedes-Benz A-Class and BMW 2 Series Grand Coupes. We also have our fingers crossed for an Integra Type S powered by the Honda Civic Type R's 306 horsepower four-cylinder. Such a spec would be an attractive Japanese foil to Mercedes AMG CLA 35 and BMW 235i Grand Coupe, especially if it has the original Integra's marvelous front-wheel drive moves. Regardless, we are thrilled to see Acura resurrect such a storied name from its past and can only hope the trend continues. For more on the Acura Integra prototype and its 2023 production variant, stay tuned. So, what do you think of this new Acura? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the latest car reviews and news. Take care, and see you in the next one.